So the Firecracker 5 is a, it's a five mile uh, run as well as a, a walk and there's also a two mile and then they also do a, a sparkler as well for the kids and it's a big promotion in the community. And, uh, Chamber puts the event on, uh, it's a big uh, community favorite actually, celebration of the 4th of July and we get people from all over that come in and uh, participate so it's a, it's a big event for us. Marlin did a lot of the organizing and, uh, and we had volunteers that just kind of helped them out, yeah. So he actually spearheaded the whole thing. Alright, I'm Mr. Hensler, I'm a high school teacher here in Columbus. I also coach both track and cross country and I guess I'm an organizer of the Firecracker 5. Took it over last year because they asked us if we wanted to and it, it, they give basically money back as a donation back to our programs. So. It was about the same as last year actually. Uh, we, we hired a timing service as well last year and he said last year we had about 250 and this year we had 251. So we had uh, consistent growth. We had one extra person this year. We had uh, 251 so uh, it's a good turnout actually. About the same as last year. It's much hotter than it was last year. Um, so I was a little worried about our count. Hey, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Josh. And I, we both ran the Firecracker 5, the five mile race. I, My first time. I've ran it probably four or five years in a row now. I'm a little competitive, so <laughs> I had to get ahead of her. <laughs> He's a lot faster than me, it's fun. I've been here 20 years in Columbus, and it's been going on since I've been here, I can tell you that. The two mile is the same as it's always been. You basically run over on the other side of the golf course, through the park, and then loop back. The five mile now does the same thing to start with, but then we run down the main drag, Park Avenue, and we go all the way down to the hospital, and then all the way up to the Four Corners, so you get to see a lot of Columbus. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. It's a good route, not a lot of hills, so it's a nice easy five mile order to uh, do for your first one. Yeah, so the Firecracker 5 is really good to run. It goes to a good cause. It's a good friendly crew. Uh, like she said, it goes to a good cause and helps support the town of Columbus. Yeah, I mean, I guess just because of what I do and the type of person I am, I think that it's important for not only me to give back, to, the, to that, but for our athletes to get back to the community they live in. I mean, this is Columbus, this is 4th of July is Columbus. I mean, uh, antiques and 4th of July are kind of what Columbus, I think, has always been known for a little bit. I think the more things that we can do to make people understand that Columbus is a great place to be, to work, to live, to go to school, all of those things, I think that's fabulous. And I think this is a great thing. I think the Firecracker 5 is a great thing to get more people here. I think the 4th of July obviously is huge for Columbus and it's it's just been a nice place for me to be for 20 years and I'm looking forward to quite a few more I hope. Yeah, support your local community, uh, support uh, local Columbus. We're very proud to kind of help uh, Columbus grow and thrive and I would encourage you to uh, uh, kind of stay local, buy local and support your local businesses.